Good day, everyone. How are you? We are doing our Christmas devotion and we are already on the fifth day. I believe we have learned so much for the past days and yes, today we'll learn more. I pray that you will not just listen to this, but I also hope that this message will speak to you. In John chapter 1, verse 14, it says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Maybe this verse is already familiar to you, but I just want to explain what it means. The Word became flesh. There are two words that we need to ponder on. First is incarnation, putting on our flesh and blood and becoming fully human. The Word refers to eternal divine Son. The Son of God existed in perfect love, joy, and harmony in fellowship with the Trinity. Amazing, right? When we say the word become flesh, it doesn't mean that He ceased to be God. It doesn't mean that He stopped being God. He became man by taking on human nature to His divine nature, and that is really amazing. It is essential in our nature and important in our theology that divinity and humanity are not mutually exclusive. The God that we serve did not just stop being God. He did not forsake His divine nature. He continued and He did it. What's the significance? He understands and He knows how you feel because He also became a man. He is not divided. He demonstrated demonstrated His love for dying on the cross for our sins. He did not just do it for a show or just to let everyone know that He's God. He did it for you, for us, and for our salvation. That's how much God loves you and me. So, how do you feel about it? The God that you serve is not far. He is with you. May you enjoy this season knowing that God loves you and yes, He truly loves you. Enjoy the holidays and see you around.